Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna make a batch counter. A batch counter is a counter that resets its count value at a set point and also count the number of time the set value is reached. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. So these are all the components we are gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino and connect its 5V pin to 5V supply and its ground pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to 5V pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its 1 side pin to 5V pin of Arduino, its center pin to pin D11 of Arduino and its other side pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 16x2 LCD and connect its pin number 1, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 16 to ground and its pin number 2 and 15 to positive supply and its pin number 4 to pin D5 of Arduino, its pin number 6 to pin D6 of Arduino, its pin number 11 to pin D7 of Arduino, its pin number 12 to pin D8 of Arduino, its pin number 13 to pin D9 of Arduino, its pin number 14 to pin D10 of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2.2K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of LCD and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its anode to pin D13 of Arduino and its cathode to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of transistor and its other pin to pin D2 of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor and its other coil pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its other pin to common terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its 1 pin to pin D3 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its 1 pin to pin D4 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. So we have seen all the connections of the circuit. I've also made PCBs for this project. Let's put all the components onto the PCB and solder them.
So we have completed the circuit. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project. I have used an IR proximity sensor, limit switch, push button and other NPN type sensors can also be used with this project. First we need to set a few parameters of this counter. To do that long press the left button. The setting screen will be appear. Now we can set the maximum count value. The value can be up to 8 digits. We can set the first digit with the right button. To set the next digit, press the left button. After setting the max count value, long press the left button. The next screen is relay time. This is the duration for which the relay stays on or off. After setting the relay time, long press the right button. The next screen is contact type. There are two contact types, normally open and normally close. To change the contact type, press the left button. After selecting the contact type, long press the left button. Now the setting is complete. Now the counter will start counting and when the set value is reset, the count value is reset and the batch value is incremented by 1. To reset the count value, long press the right button. And if you want to reset the batch value, long press both buttons. All the settings and the batch count value is stored in EEPROM. If the supply is disconnected, the setting and batch count value remain saved. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. 
For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.